Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for another vlog that I just did something so spontaneous. I was not intending to start this vlog today. This is Thursday. I was planning on doing like Friday, Saturday, but my best friend Kaylee and I knew we wanted to see each other tomorrow. We were trying to think of things that we should do. And she was like, there's this awesome pool in San Diego at this hotel. Maybe we should see if we can get like a day pass to the pool. And I was like, what are you doing Saturday? What if we just like stay at the hotel and have a girls weekend in San Diego? And she was like, I'm not doing anything Saturday. <laughs> so literally an hour ago, I booked us a room at that hotel with the pool that she's been to that she says she loves. And we are driving down to San Diego in the morning to have a girls weekend together. Before we leave early tomorrow morning, there was something I wanted to show you. So that's why I'm starting the vlog today to show you what I wanted to show you. And then we'll just cut to tomorrow when we, I guess, have our girls weekend in San Diego. I'm so excited. <laughs> I just discovered a new brand, new to me, that I'm really super excited about and I'm partnering with them on a little mini haul. This is called Neiwai, N-E-I-W-A-I. And they are a brand that started as lingerie and loungewear, but they've expanded into activewear, some daywear and swimwear as well. The brand name Neiwai means inside and out, which I think is really cool. And their whole concept is made to live in. And then also they have barely there lingerie, undergarments, underwear, bras, that they say your size is the size because they are super duper expandable and can virtually fit any like body shape. And they're very eco-conscious. So for example, this packaging, look at this. It's the coolest, it has buttons and they intentionally designed this package to be very minimal to where you could then reuse this box for anything you want around your house. This is the bra I was telling you about this bra is so incredibly comfortable this is one of those like super stretchy underwire free type bras but i'm gonna show you everything i got and we'll do we'll cut to a little try on clip so you can see what it looks like but i did want to say their active wear and things like that is a little bit newer so before partnering with this brand i reached out to them and was like hey do you plan to expand your sizing because the sizing's a little bit more limited in terms of active wear and things like that. They were like, so glad you asked because we actually have been in the process of expanding our sizing for months and that should be coming out soon. So I just wanted to let you guys know that that, that was a question I wanted to ask before getting things from this brand and sharing it with you because I think that that is very important. So very excited to know that that is in the works, but let me show you everything I got. Okay, first thing is the Barely Zero collection. They actually have 10% off of their 2020 collection from the Barely Zero collection and also there will be a spring sale which has 30% off but I won't show you how these underwear fit me because I feel like that's just a little TMI but they're like super duper flexible and I love the high-waistedness and then this bra so comfy I want to show you the swimsuit though I'm so excited for this swimsuit this like muted color is everything so I got these high-waisted bottoms and this material do you see this it's almost like a it's almost like a ribbed knitted material even though it's not but super flattering high rise and this matching kind of almost twist detail feature top i think is just adorable and i'm so excited to have this in time for this weekend okay some active wear i got i cannot explain to you the quality and the feel of this active wear it just feels so soft flexible but still durable and it's hard for me to find shorts I actually like, but I thought these shorts looked very flattering because um, they have a little bit of like a looser wide leg and I got a matching sports bra to go with it in the same color. This is like a long line sports bra, which I think is always so flattering when you wear it with something high waisted. And I love the detail of the back, these little like three straps on each side, I think is precious. And it has really good structure as well. This kind of almost boning type effect in the front, even though it's just seams. I've been so impressed with the leggings. I tried them on and wore them around the house before filming this, but this is their high-waisted legging and it has almost like a mesh detail around the ankle, which is so stinking cute. It's not too form-fitting, but it has good support and hold. 
So I have absolutely been so excited to find these and I got the exact same thing as biker shorts. I'm definitely gonna pack these. Since this trip is so spontaneous, I don't exactly know what we're doing. I don't know if we're gonna go do something kind of outdoorsy. Kaylee's and I have gone to ride electric bikes in San Diego before. That could be something fun. So I'm gonna bring one athletic-y outfit to see be prepared for whatever we might do, but I'm so excited about these things. So excited to find a brand that is really high quality and has really good environmental goals and is continuing to make strides into just being an awesome brand. So I will have all these things linked down below. The links do help to support my channel. I am just so excited to have this and to go on this little trip this weekend. Such a dream come true. But okay, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm going to go pack these things in my suitcase and I will see you tomorrow morning when I go to pick up Kaylee's and we head to San Diego. Good morning. Today's the day. It's Friday. It's a little after nine, but I've been up since 5 30 because I had some computer work I had to get done before we drive for a few hours today. And I've gotten ready. I'm getting packed. Just need to get dressed. I did sleep in this bra last night and it is so comfortable. <laughs> I'm gonna get dressed and then we're gonna head on out and go get Kaylee's from Riverside, which is en route to San Diego. So that works out perfectly. Just wanted to say hello before we get this party started. <laughs> So here's what happened. So we got lunch. Um, what was the place called? Puesto. Puesto. I think. Very good. Called, yeah. Apparently they have multiple locations. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. Then we got coffee. You just saw that montage. Check-ins at four. We got here at four on the dot. There were so many. Everyone had the same idea to check in at the exact same time. Yeah. So there's so, probably like 80 at families. Least. Like the line went all the way down, like around the corner throughout the hallway. And we walked past it and we're like, all right, to the pool area. So we, we are at the pool with yeah. our luggage. With our stuff. But there's waiting. no seats. So we're on the grass. We're scouting out, waiting to see, but people are quick. People like, are a, a couple just got up behind us and this dad was already there with like towels in hand, ready to go. Immediately, yeah. Like, so we're gonna be hanging here probably, I don't know, for an hour. Yeah. See if the line dies down. Enjoy the sunshine. Enjoy the sunshine. It's beautiful outside. And then try again. <laughs> Wish us luck. Fingers crossed. <laughs> So we got through the line in like 50 minutes, probably 45 to 50 minutes, mm -hmm. would you say? Yeah. The poor employees were like so <laughs> stressed. They kept handing out wine. They're like, if we get them with some wine in them, then yes. maybe they won't think about that they're waiting in line. Yeah. It I, worked for me. I told the front <laughs> desk guy, I was like, how are you? He was like, I'm going crazy. And I was like, well, they're getting everyone drunk in line. He's like, that's what we do. <laughs> But we're on the 21st floor with a balcony. It doesn't feel like this should be allowed. No, it does not feel like it should be allowed at all. So I'll flip y'all around and I'll show you our it's view. It's pretty stunning. I like heights, but I'm even like this. This is high up there. This is high up there. Yeah. <laughs> the balcony feels too short. That's the problem. The railing. Feels the railing, that's what I mean. It like yeah. goes to like here, <laughs> which that that is the part that feels yeah a little scary. It's beautiful though. I'll show you, I'll show you. Welcome to the 21st floor patio. This way you have, is there a name for this bay? Some sort of bay. It looks like the Sydney Opera House, but it's not. It's like Down, a mini it really is. I'm afraid to put my camera, look, here's my hand for comparison, how, how low this is. But down below is the huge pool. If I drop this camera, ooh, I'm done for. <laughs> and then we still have views of the city to the left. It's like a little bit of everything. So yeah, that's the, that's the view guys. And then Coronado is the island that's right across. From that's us. an island, which is crazy. Our plan tonight is kind of up in the air. <laughs> Wherever the wind takes us. Literally, we have our sweaters and swimsuits. Swimsuits. <laughs> Wherever it is. Because we don't know how chilly it is down there. So we might take a walk. Mm -hmm. We might hit up the hot tubs. We might do dinner, but we had a really late lunch. So the world is literally our oyster. So that being said, I have my phone around me. Not gonna bring anything else. Gonna leave the camera here, but I'll see if we do anything 
fun. Exciting. I'll get it on my phone, <laughs> man. I'm excited. Woo. There is a life I lead in this city. Hurry and to cup my tea. I can take what I need to get by. It doesn't make it easy. The other piece of my heart moves slow. Somewhere in the great unknown. When I return from the afterglow, will you carry me like I am? me it's 11 p.m we had the best spontaneous night we walked up and down the pier not the pier the boardwalk is that what you call it we're all like the yachts and crazy expensive boats are parked and there was little tourist shops and then we saw a street performer that like juggled fire and then we went to the hot tub and it was quite relaxing and peaceful we kind of forgot about dinner we just post made it uh, CPK because it was the only thing still open at almost 11 p.m. that had gluten-free options. So we just picked that up. We're taking turns taking a shower. Maybe gonna have pizza in bed and watch a movie, perhaps? That's our night. It's been really good. I'm gonna take my camera to the pool tomorrow so we can definitely all hang out at the pool together tomorrow. I'm looking very much forward to it. But for now, cannot wait to wash the chlorine off of me. And I love you. Good night. Let's hop to Saturday. Good Saturday morning from our balcony. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me because it's kind of loud up here, but we woke up at like 8.30, went to bed watching diners, drive-ins, and dives. And then we looked down at the pool and there's already so many towels down there. We were like, oh no, like there's already almost no seats. So we like ran down there and hustled and left our snacks and our books and stuff on a couple of the last remaining chairs. Cause we were like, if those get stolen, it's not the end of the world. And then we got coffee and we're actually packing up the room now so that we don't have to come back up here. And just gonna ask the front desk to hold on to our bags and check out so that we can just stay at the pool until we leave today. So that's the plan. We're gonna be down there all day and they do denote gluten-free on their menu. So gonna probably get some of the gluten-free nachos because nothing goes better together than a lactose intolerant person eating dairy in a bikini. <laughs> We've done it. We've made it to the pool. <laughs> We've already opened the pickled popcorn. Pickled popcorn we got. Here, snack haul. These are plantain chips from Trader Joe's, but they're jerk style flavoring. Oh, you were telling me about those. They're cool. so Wait, good. They're like cinnamony, they're spicy. One. It's good, huh? I don't know what I was expecting. It's pretty Not that good. level of spice, but oh my gosh. And the delicious. spice like hits you later because it's kind of like cinnamony sweet. Mm -hmm. And then later your lips are tingling and you're like, what is that? Trader Joe's version of Takis and mm. some granola bars, which we already had this morning. And apparently we have a food credit that we did not know about. So that's what's We're up. Set. We're just waiting for the sun. Come over that building. It should hopefully okay. be any minute now and they'll warm up a lot. So hopefully. <laughs> we have sun and I have on my new super cute swimsuit. When I have on my glasses, they filter out the screen and I can't see what you're seeing. But got on my cute swimsuit. I'm very, very happy about it. So that's always good. Okay, I bet that this is gonna be Kaylee's. She got the healthy thing. She got like a chicken grain bowl. Yes, it is. Oh, wow. For some reason, this wasn't listed as gluten free, but it's just quinoa and black beans and chicken, avocado. That's very healthy. I am very impressed with her. And then meanwhile, I not only got the nachos, but I added carne asada. Oh, wait. Hold, please. That was not a. Oh, buddy. Oh, wow. Yep, confirm their tortilla chips are gluten-free. They actually list gluten-free on their menu, which is very impressive. Yeah, I'm gonna need Kaylee's help eating that for sure. Cool food and cheesy, meaty combinations are like the best thing. If, if I could eat anything, every time I'm at a pool, I crave chicken tenders. I think there's a cruise ship docking. I don't know why I do, but first bite. That's the life. <laughs> so I just dropped off Kaylee's on my way home. I thought it would be fun to continue the vlog until tonight because my favorite, favorite, favorite thing to do after having like a day out where you're sunscreeny and sweaty and gross is to do like a full shower. So like rehydrate my skin and replenish it after 
being in the sun probably more than I should. I always get comments about being like, hey, you were diagnosed with lupus, you should not be in the sun. And I know, I know, but I wanna live life a little too. And I just remembered that I actually took a little bit of footage on Wednesday when Brooke and I went to the Dodger game because I was so dang excited to be going. So how about on my drive home, you enjoy that footage back from Wednesday at the Dodger game, and then uh, I'll see you when we get home and do a shower. Uh, oh my gosh, guys. Brooke got a mullet. Brooke got a mullet. <laughs> Now. Let's be honest, mullets are bad. But at the same time, he like kind of weirdly rocks it. I'm not against it. I'm not thrilled about it. I'm not against it. Have not seen it in person yet. So I'm very eager to see what it looks like in real life. That's our agenda. Let's go home and let's take a shower. Enjoy the Dodger footage. It is a previous Mikel. Brooke is about to swing by and pick me up to go to a Dodger game tonight. I've been asking over and over and over if we can go just the two of us is like a little date night and this is the first time we're able to do it this season and i am wearing what we found at goodwill together back when i went to goodwill outlet and everything with my friend kim in that recent vlog so i figured you'd like to see the completed look the completed outfit i don't feel like myself i never wear bright blue and I never wear anything sporty but um for a Dodger game it's at least it's one thing different than my normal vintage embroidered tee that we found <laughs> so here is the full look it is literally like a dress length on me that you thought you'd never see me so sporty um and then I just have little bike shorts and a little tank and then little white tinnies and uh, this is the completed look as styled by Kim. <laughs> it's so funny if you missed that vlog, this is like a knockoff. It just says Los Angeles. It doesn't even say Dodgers because I'm pretty sure they had copyright issues. Millen? Millen? Yeah, that's, a, that's not a real brand. <laughs> it's not a real brand? But the applique is so thick that this doesn't just like fold a little bit. It like has to go <laughs> fold completely over, which is kind of good because people can't see that it doesn't say Dodgers. It just says Los Angeles. So it's like my little sneaky way around it. <laughs> but how about I take you on a little happy montage of the game as a little joyful intermission in this vlog, whatever vlog this goes into, probably just the one I start on Friday, right? Probably. <laughs> I just got home and I told Brooke to hide so that we could see his mullet together on camera. <laughs> Good eye closing <laughs> technique. Yo, yeah, well, you're wearing a hat. I can't even see it. Yeah, you have to wear a hat. I'm gonna right take now. it off. I want to see it. So you see the whole thing all yeah. together? Yeah. Ready? It's, uh, it plays up a little better with a hat on. One, two. They've already seen it. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's it's so moldy. Wait, do you have a part with the mullet or like? No, no, no. It's just, it's just all slick back. But I didn't do it today, so it's just hanging out. Hey, do a 360. With my hair? Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is like a cooler mullet because I thought this was going to go further back this way. I thought it was too, and he was like, I'm not going to go that far. You look ridiculous. Yeah, you look a little ridiculous. <laughs> like, all right, thank you. Wow. But he made it, he made it so it just looks good with a hat on. And you're, you're keeping the mustache the top, and the mullet? Yeah, yeah, it completes it. The top is so <laughs> short. Look how short it is. What is this alter ego? Like, what's your name? Like, Gus. Gus. <laughs> Gus, this, Gus. This is the, Gus, the, the rat from the Cinderella. Rat. <laughs> Gus, Gus. I need a shower. I'm disgusting. I'm disgusting. I'm disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shower prep. Cannot wait to shower. First thing I'm gonna do before I get in the shower and let it sit for a couple minutes while I unpack my stuff is put in this scalp scrub. You know, I talk about it all the time. This is by Drunk Elephant. It's a little bit of a splurge, but I only use it like maybe every other week. So this lasts a lifetime, but this is gonna get all the sunscreen and build up and all that kind of stuff out of my hair. So I'm just gonna massage this around and then I'll explain to you what I'm gonna do in the shower. Most of my stuff is post-shower. I have become such a fan of Nécessaire. Nécessaire. Né, I still don't know how to say it. It's definitely a day for exfoliation. So I'm gonna use their body exfoliator. The um, new body wash I got, 
I've tried a few of NATO's body washes and I did not like the scents, but I got this one and I love the scent and it's cucumber and mint. Um, so that's just a little update, but definitely gonna exfoliate, shave, wash, and then wash my hair in the shower. Then I will see you afterward for all the hydration stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. That felt so good to exfoliate off all the sunscreen. Oh, okay. I'm gonna show you my body cocktail. It's really not that creative. It's just mixing these three things. Okay, love the body serum. Like the lotion, I prefer the Bum Bum Cream Lotion, which actually has lasted me a lot longer than I have expected. Nevertheless, very, very good when mixed with all these things. And then this body oil is like the most hydrating ever. I don't do this often. Only when I want extreme hydration, I do some lotion, okay? This is gonna be for like my whole body. And then like maybe a generous pump of the body serum, a few drops of the body oil, then mix this together. It's a lot, so I'm gonna disperse it before I rub it in. But oh my gosh, this is so hydrating. You can feel it like seep into your skin after a full day and chlorine and all that kind of stuff. Mm. I think I'm gonna finish the night with this face mask. Don't use it often because I'm trying to kind of save it, but this is the F-Balm Electrolyte Water Facial Mask and it does a really good job of hydrating. It almost kind of tingles a little bit, but um, this is the type of mask that I believe, don't quote me, believe you can also wear overnight because it's almost like a like a serum feel as you can see it's not really that visible but i'm gonna not leave this on overnight i'll probably leave it on while i watch a bit of the dodger game with brooke and catch up on some computer work that i kind of missed from yesterday while i <laughs> was out of office and that is my night i'm feeling so fresh i'm gonna let my hair air dry so that i can reduce the amount of heat on it but I love y'all. Thank you so much for hanging out with Kaylee's and I. I hope our footage wasn't too chaotic. We will see. <laughs> Thank you again to Nay for sponsoring the little try on haul at the beginning of this video. I felt so cute in my little swimsuit by the pool today. Don't forget, I will have all of that information and all of the things I got in that haul linked down below. I love y'all with my whole heart. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. <laughs> Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign, oh, give me a sign, baby, give me a sign, just give me one more, talking to you, talking to you. here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me, where do we go?